Good afternoon, my smart students. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's Sunday. Sunday again. The first day of the week. And today we have a new lesson. In the previous weeks, we have learned about time. Time to the hour. Time to the half hour. Time to the quarter hour. And today we're going to learn time to five minutes okay so the lesson of today is super easy i just want you to focus okay everyone listen carefully follow the steps and you will get it the first thing that i want you to do is to get your math book because we're going to use it okay everyone and also to read the day and date so everyone i need your help so let's read the day and date together the day is sunday and the date may 17 2020 thank you for helping so did you get your math book yes and did you grab some pencils? Of course. Okay, everyone, look over here and tell me what do you see? I see an analog clock. Analog clock. And usually in the analog or on the analog clock, there are two, two hands. hands. One of them short and one of them long. The short one is for the hour and the long one is for the minute okay so let's read our objectives so by the end of the lesson i can skip count by five, five to tell ten time. time and you have learned before how to skip count by fives which is super easy right everyone of course and today I'm gonna teach you everyone how to skip count by fives to tell the time or read it. So are you ready? Yes. And mental math time. I like mental math. Mental math will help you to be so smart. Okay, so everyone let's read the question together. Every time we have mental math, Miss Muna says to you, you need to read carefully and think carefully to avoid any mistake, right? Right. So everyone, put the following numbers in order. In order, it means we're gonna... What we're going to do when we put something in order means we put them in yeah a good way or organized way organized way okay it makes sense so starting from the largest where we need to organize the numbers as you said and start from the largest to the smallest so my lovely students where is the largest number Read the numbers and find the largest. So where is the largest number, everyone? 23. 23. Okay. Okay. And after 23? 20. 20. 16. 15. And finally, 13. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. And here we're going to review what we have learned before. I want you everyone to look at each analog clock and read the time. Okay? Because we have learned how to tell the time before. Okay? So how many analog clocks do you see? Four. Four. Well done. And how many digital clocks do you see? 
Also for. Also for. Here's the analog clock and here's the digital clock. So let's take a look at the first one. So if you look at the clock to read the time, let me say the analog clock. You're going to look first at the short one or the long one. The long hand or the short hand? The small hand or short hand? The short hand. So you are going to read the short hand or you are going to look at the short hand first to read the time. So look over here everyone. Look at the short hand. It's between 11 and 12. But is it 12? No, not it's yet. It, it's still 11. Still 11. It's still 11. It's coming from 11. And now look at the long one. How are you going to read the time, everyone? Do you remember? Yes. I'm going to help you. Look at the analog clock over here. Okay. Do you see the analog clock? Yes. Okay, well done. So everyone, I'm going to tell you something. Every time the long hand moves from number to another number, five minutes will be counted. Okay? Five minutes. And every time the long hand moves, we are going to add five more. That's why I said to you before, we're gonna use or we're gonna apply today the skip counting here to read the time. Okay, so let's skip count by fives starting from here. So everyone look at number one, okay? Now we are talking about minutes. We're talking about minutes and something else. In one hour, there are 60 minutes. 60 minutes, okay? So let's count them, everyone. 5, 10. Okay, 5. We add 5 more, so it becomes 10. 10 and 5 more. 15. 20. 25. 30. 35. 40. 45, 50, 55, and finally 60. So the long hand will turn one time around the analog clock to make one hour. So let's go back over here, everyone. I want you to read the time. We said it's 11. It's 11. See, look at the uh, long one. It points to 3. Okay, and here we can say 15, 15 minutes. We're going to write 11, 15. Let's move to the, okay, number two. So everyone, what time is it? Look at the short one first. The short one is between 8 and 9. 8 and 9. But, but it's, yeah, we still didn't pass 9, so it's still 8. It's still 8. Okay, still eight. And look at the long one, it points to six. And how many minutes? 30. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Remember, the long hand reads the minute, not the hours. Okay? And let's read the time. Okay, so everyone, look at the analog clock. I want you also to read the digital clock every time because the digital clock is super easy. It gives you the exact time. It shows the numbers on the screen. So everyone, do you like the analog clock or the digital clock? Digital. Digital clock? Yes. But you need to learn how to read and tell the time when you look at the analog clock. True? Yes. Okay. So I want you to look over here. As you can see, the short hand is in between, right? 
between six and seven. But that doesn't mean at seven, it's still six. It's still six because it's going to seven, but it's not seven yet, right? So right. we're going to write six and let's look at the minutes. It points to number nine. Nine, so it's 45. 45. So it's six, 45. And let's go to the last one. Okay, so the last one is super easy. Okay, so look at the short one. The short one points to six. And the long one points to 12. And 12 can, is always zero. Zero minutes. Thank you for helping. Okay, so everyone, it takes five minutes. Okay, it takes five minutes for the minute hand to move to the next number. See? Five minutes. You can skip count by fives to tell the time. So it takes five minutes. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Let's continue. Forty. Forty-five. Forty, forty-five. Excellent. So... We're going to write 45, 45, and then 50, excellent, 50, and then 55, 55, and, and finally 60 or 0, 0 minutes or we can say 60. So let's say them together, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And now get your math book because we are going to use it. Open page 619. Write the day and date. Okay, everyone? So what we are going to do is to write the missing numbers over here, okay? We're going to write the missing numbers. So can you help me? Yes. Okay, and let's get started. Okay, so everyone look over here. I want you to read the time, okay? Fill or write first the minutes. Okay, write the minutes first. After writing the minutes, read the time. So what time is it, everyone? The short hand is pointing between 5 and 6. It still hasn't passed 6, so it's 5. So it's 5. It's between 5 and 6, but it's 5 because it's moving. It's going to number 6, but it's not six yeah right right and the long hand or the minute hand points to eight and it means it is 40 so it's 5 40 40 minutes so it's 5 40 okay so remember everyone to skip count by fives to find the minutes don't forget so let's skip count by 5 again, one more time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 or 0. So everyone remember, every time the long hand will move from, ta from number to number, see, from 12 to 5, Okay, let's say there are five minutes and then you are going to add five more and so on. Excellent. And here we go. I want you everyone to solve page 620 in your math book volume 2. Till what time is showing, okay, and write the time. So everyone remember to use, okay, let me show you. We need to sh we need to use this one to read the time. Okay, so I'm gonna take it. Okay, and add it here. 
so it will help me to read the time okay I'm gonna keep it over here so now let's read the time so what time is it everyone remember to look at the short one first the short one is at 12 or pointing at 12 okay so it's between 12 and 1 but it's not 1 yet right, right. so the time is 12 and look at the long one it is pointing at 4 and 4, four is 20 so it's 12 20 12 excellent 12 20 minutes let's go to number two the short hand is pointing at between three and four but it still doesn't pass four so it's still three it's and not four yet excellent see it's not four yet because of the of the minute ha minute hand and the minute hand is pointing at 11 and 11 is 55 so the time is 11 oh sorry 4:55 is it 4 oh no cuz i didn't read the analog clock well it's still 3 so it's 3:55 okay you need to be careful everyone don't do such a mistake like yeah. me and number 3 so look at the short one. The short one is between four and five, right? Right. Is it five? No. Not yet. It's going to five, but it's not yet five. Five. So. And the minute hand is pointing at five. Okay, so it's four. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, four twenty-five. And here, till what time is shown, draw the minute hand to show the time. So, can you read the time over here? Yes, 10.35. But, uh-oh, the minute hand is not there, so we need to show where the minute hand goes. Luckily, I have the analog clock here to help me. So, let's search for 35, or let's skip count by 5 to find the answer. Let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And where is 35? At 7. So we're going to add the minute hand pointing at 7. Thank Hooray! You for helping. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So let's check our answers. 12, 20, 3, 55, 4, 25. Yes, the answer is correct. So your answers are correct. Thank you for helping. You're Let's welcome. Let's go to the last one. Draw the minute hand to show the time. Okay, so what we are going to do is to draw the minute hand to show the time. Read the time over here. Can you read the time? Yes, it's in the digital clock. So what time is it? 7, 5. Or 0, 5. Okay, so what, we're, what I'm going to do in, in, in this case, I'm going to take my analog clock because it will help me and I will use it, okay? Okay, so let me use it. So here, it's... The time is 7.05. So what I'm going to do is we're going to skip count by 5. And, oh, we already found the answer. Well, that was easy, right? It's 1. Because when we count, we start with 5. Okay, and let's go to this one. 3.25. Let's skip count. 5. 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, we found it. It's number 5. Let's draw it. Good job. Yes, good job. So, thank you everyone for following. I'm very happy because today I have a surprise. I can say uh, 12 
students got one or collected 100 points on class dojo so i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you that certificate today have a great day and bye good job say good job and i want to say today i am so proud of you because uh last week 12 students got or collected let me say 100 points on cluster job i'm gonna give you the certificate inshallah today so have a nice day i love you bye